In 1680, France was the political and cultural center of Europe, and a place of enormous social and economic contrasts. Education in 17th century France was a luxury for the wealthy and privileged only. Jean-Baptiste de La Salle, a priest and canon of the great Cathedral of Reims, saw the need to offer a Christian education to young people of the poor and working classes, to put into practice what was then a radical idea, that education should be for all. He began by helping to open a parish school for poor boys in Reims, and eventually surrendered his wealth and gathered a group of teachers into a religious community that came to be called the Brothers of the Christian Schools. This was the beginning of what we know today as the De La Salle Christian Brothers and the La Salian Schools. The De La Salle Christian Brothers represent a society of teachers devoted to the Christian education of the young, especially the poor, and the elevation of the dignity of all people through education. When de La Salle died in 1719, there were 100 brothers. Today, approximately 6,500 brothers and over 75,000 partners continue de La Salle's tradition in a variety of educational projects, especially in primary schools, secondary schools, and universities in 84 countries throughout the world. The headquarters of the International Institute is located in Rome and is governed by a superior general and his elected council. The Institute is divided into 11 geographic regions formed around common languages. This division allows for the development of cooperative projects for the brothers and other Lasallian educators and students. The U.S. and English-speaking parts of Canada make up the United States Toronto region that is subdivided into seven districts and serves students in 100 institutions. In 1845, a group of brothers emigrated from Canada to the United States and quickly gained a reputation for creating excellent primary and secondary school programs. In 1868, the brothers came to San Francisco and established what is known today as the District of San Francisco. Over the next 130 years, the brothers of the District of San Francisco founded or assisted diocesan offices in developing primary schools, secondary schools, and other educational projects throughout the West Coast. Today, the District of San Francisco sponsors schools and educational programs in California, Oregon, Washington State, and Tijuana, Mexico. In California, Lasallian schools include Cathedral High School in Los Angeles, Christian Brothers High School in Sacramento, De La Salle High School in Concord, Justin Siena High School in Napa, La Salle High School in Pasadena, Sacred Heart Cathedral Preparatory and the Demariac Middle School in San Francisco, St. Mary's College High School in Berkeley, and St. Mary's College in Moraga. In the Pacific Northwest, Lasallian schools include Lasalle High School in Milwaukee, Oregon, De La Salle North Catholic High School in Portland, and Lasalle High School in Yakima, Washington. These institutions are directed by more than 1,500 teachers, administrators, and support personnel, and serve over 10,000 students and more than 100,000 alumni. The San Francisco District also coordinates such diverse programs as Central Lasalle a tuition-free school in Tijuana, Mexico, Lasallian Educational Opportunities in Oakland, California, an educational program to assist inner-city youth, Lasalle Vietnam House in San Jose, California, serving the needs of Vietnamese and Amerasian young people, Latino Adult Institute in Napa, California, helping non-English-speaking adults working throughout the Napa Valley, Rancho Los Hermanos, situated at Mount LaSalle in Napa, providing agricultural training for young people, and Vaugirard in San Francisco, a home offering a social rehabilitation program for adults. To become a part of the District of San Francisco is to become a part of a much larger community, a community that reaches around the world. In India, for instance, the brothers operate the St. James School in Suriname, one of the poorest villages in the country. The only water supply for St. James is a large man-made pond which fills up in the monsoon season and must provide water for the rest of the year. 
At night, the brothers operate informal homework sessions in surrounding villages for the local children who are unable to attend St. James. In Pakistan, the brothers operate a number of schools for poor and middle-class children and a training center for religious educators who will work in Catholic parishes throughout the predominantly Muslim Pakistan. Brother Norman Ray operates the House of Hope, a recovery center for 150 heroin and hashish addicts from the streets of Karachi. In Sri Lanka, the brothers operate many schools in this beautiful but troubled country, including Diagala Boys Town. This center for destitute boys, many of whom are orphans, has turned out over 2,000 graduates in the past few years. In Africa, the brothers are engaged in a number of educational projects, including Christ the Teacher Institute in Nairobi, Kenya, which prepares teachers for the Catholic secondary schools of Africa. In the center of a desolate barrio near Lima, Peru, named Zapayal, sits the Fe y Alegria School No. 43, operated by the De La Salle Christian Brothers. There are, of course, classes in mathematics, reading, writing, Spanish, and so forth. However, there are also shops in which local women and men learn practical skills, such as sewing, ceramics, carpentry, and metalworking. This area along the coast of Peru is completely arid. All water for the surrounding barrios must be brought in by truck. This reality means that irrigating the large hillside tree farm operated by the school must be done in the most labor-intensive of ways. In the Philippines, Lasallian schools include the large modern Lasall Green Hills School, serving the larger Manila community, including a successful program which works with the very young poor children and is completely free. A popular and successful night school program also teaches adults who would otherwise not be able to get their high school diplomas. Another typical project is the Kuya Center, or Big Brother Center, run by a consortium of religious orders, including the Christian Brothers. This center searches out street children and provides them with a safe place to live and learn. The San Francisco District responds to many of these international needs by providing financial support and the services of brothers and partners to these countries and other parts of Latin America, Asia, and the Middle East. The San Francisco District leadership team and support staff are located at Mount LaSalle in Napa, California. They provide management and support services to the brothers and their partners, as well as educational programs throughout the district. Lasallian education today, in the tradition of St. LaSalle, means contemporary academic programs of the highest quality. Teachers are expected to be professionally prepared and to provide lessons that challenge the students intellectually, socially, and spiritually. In our schools, a solid liberal arts program is enhanced by the latest educational facilities and equipment and complemented by a host of co-curricular opportunities. Every year, more than 90% of the high school graduates in the district go on to two- and four-year college programs. But Lasallian education also means personal education. St. LaSalle expected his teachers to be like older brothers and sisters to their students, having a depth of knowledge and concern that allows each teacher to address the particular needs of each student. A warm family spirit in the schools is basic to Lasallian education. This spirit is also recognized by the commitment to support those students unable to meet the financial cost of their education. The loyalty and support of parents, alumni, and community leaders is critical to our schools. In each school, a board of trustees provides special leadership and the broader community is encouraged to participate in the life of the school. And of course, at the heart of Lasallian education is a commitment to religious education and the spiritual formation of each student through well-developed religious studies courses, strong campus ministry programs, substantial community service and service learning programs, and the commitment of every teacher, staff member, and administrator to touch not only the minds, but also the hearts and souls of every student. Further, the schools encourage the development of each student's vocation as a servant of others, especially the poor, and the promotion of the dignity of all people as children of God. The De La Salle Christian Brothers, through their vows and communal lifestyle, provide an example and a special animating spirit throughout the district. 
Additionally, throughout the International Institute, Lasallian education has come to mean a growing collaboration between the brothers and their partners. As we begin the 21st century, and over 300 years since the founding of the Institute, the San Francisco District of the Brothers of the Christian Schools is rededicated to innovative programs to fulfill the mission given directly to us all by St. LaSalle. The district is finding ways to convert existing works to become more accessible to the poor, as well as addressing unmet educational needs in a variety of new ways. Perhaps the best indication of the vitality of the San Francisco District is the fact that fully one-third of its present works have been initiated since 1994. With openness and hospitality and a commitment to the Lasallian mission, the Brothers of the Christian Schools with their fellow educators are carrying the sacred tradition of Lasallian education into this new century. The spirit of the Institute and of the District is the spirit of faith and zeal. Faith teaches us to realize that God is present to us in all we do. And zeal leads us to dedicate our lives to the work of education for the sake of the reign of God. <laughs>